It will come down fairly heavily, and with Mayetta being north of Topeka, it's going to take a while to get that far north. In fact, there's going to be a really sharp cutoff on who gets the wet snow in the mix and who does not, and it may take until at least mid to late morning up toward Mayetta to start getting something. Light flakes starting to happen toward the Manhattan area right now. Uh, that's been occurring in the Junction City, Manhattan area for about 20 or 30 minutes. Lawrence is still quite a ways away from getting this, but it will certainly start inundating areas between Topeka and Kansas City. So if you're trying to get to Kansas City almost snow free, you can leave right now and be in great shape just zipping on over. So what we have on our temperature is a 31. Uh, right now the wind is fairly light. The wind's not a problem until overnight tonight toward early morning. So what we're talking about is the snow coming down with critical temperatures. It looks like it's going to be 31 32 as it starts but much of that on treated roads will simply melt away and then our numbers should start climbing. Uh, there's the lower edge uh, right there of what's going on here and the very top portion of that is lifting toward I-70 slowly. It has to overcome some drier air at the surface, but we've already seen James Ryan down in Emporia with some heavier snow. Uh, so the winter weather advisory, it goes all the way through at least until midnight and that's in these central and southern areas and then this top shaded area is for the wind chill advisory tomorrow morning and that's going to be really harsh. Might be 50 to 25 below for feels like numbers and that's going to be early tomorrow morning as kids are waiting for the bus. Wind again not an issue until sometime this evening and overnight when it goes at some 15 to 30 miles per hour out of the north northwest so no wind problems right now. The temperatures are what we're looking for and we want all of these numbers that are around 30 and 31 to gradually get toward 33 and 35 but right now still below freezing in Emporia with that snow coming down and thankfully just like many systems we've seen all this rain around Fort Worth and Dallas, Oklahoma City, getting down here through southeast Oklahoma and Arkansas. All that's working toward the middle Mississippi Valley area instead of lifting straight toward us. So what we're going to get is several hours of this wet snow from northwest Oklahoma to Wichita and coming right up toward the Topeka area. And then there's the really sharp cold front right there. That is Arctic air. There's going to be a few snow squalls with that in the early evening. And when that comes through, most of the precipitation will shut off. The wind starts to howl and it will be bitterly cold tonight and it could be our coldest day of all winter so far as we go through a Thursday. This is what we need later today, this 32, 36 to 38 to feed on in, and that should certainly happen before that Arctic front arrives. And there's the snow, 7 toward 8 working on in, covering everybody, starting to get those some mix and some cold rain into all of it as we go through the afternoon. And then there's the front coming through with snow squalls before it ends, and we clear it on out. So for the numbers today, slowly working through that 35, 38 degree period as we go through. So that should keep most roads slushy to wet. And then we go to 9 degrees tomorrow morning. Many spots in our northern counties will be closer to zero with wind chills at 25 below. And then only 19 tomorrow, 37 though on Friday. A really cold start. So frigid early on Valentine's Day, but sunshine will help out. And then look what happens here. We go 49, 55 this weekend, near 60 on Monday. An incredible warm-up and overnight lows will be in the mid and upper 30s at that point. All this will be a distant memory by then.